Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. May I start now? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, just I would like to start from where I left out yesterday. So, uh, yesterday we discussed about the different type of publication, how publication process, how we can publish uh, my our article manuscript in a journal. So yesterday we discussed that. Today I would like to discuss the where we will publish, how we can select choose a suitable journal. That is the topic today. I would like to discuss now and uh, basically there are different types of journal you know we are using journal referred journal and also uh, some commercial journal open journal so there are different categories of journals are available but one thing you have to keep in mind that is a digital journal, digital publication. What is this? This terminology introduced by a uh, American librarian Jeffrey Bell in 2010. Basically, it's a one type of journal. They claim different types of parameters they have. Their journal is long established journal, but really the journal is not that quality, uh, reach that quality. So this is the one type of journal that is known as PTT journal. That cope, you know, cope. Uh, committee on Publication Ethics uh, defined the PDT publication, publishing, what is PDT publishing? And in 2018, they defined that PDT publishing is generally defined, PDT publishing is generally defined as For profit, open access journal publication of scholarly articles without the benefit of peer review by experts in the field or the usual editorial oversight of the journals in question. The journals have no standards and no quality control and frequently published within a very brief period of time while claiming that the articles are peer reviewed. So, they want to say that, you see, the journal is an open access publication scholar and published by the different type of digital publishers also for their profit making purpose. They do not follow the standard procedure of pub publishing procedure that are required for a standard publication. The journal has no standard quality, they do not maintain the quality of the journal and they want to publish the journal, publish the journal very frequently within a short time because they want to earn money and also they receive the, they claim they want less money that is required for a public uh, reputed journal as the APC charges, they claim or they demand less money than the reputed. So as a research scholar, as being a research scholar, we want to publish in a journal, they want their needs less money, less FPC charges. So that is the uh, things in case of free journal publishing we see, and that's said by the CO, is a recognized platform organization. Uh, uh, forum where 
basically publishers and editorial of a good journal, peer good journals are there. It's the platform of them. Oh. And sometimes the fiduciary journal, fiduciary publishing is also named as questionable journals. Sometimes you find the term questionable journals. Basically, it, this term is used by the Duas. Duas not use the fiduciary journal, they use the questionable journals. So fiduciary journals and questionable journals are the same. And uh, Jeffrey Bell, who introduced this fiduciary publishing, they first given the information about this fiduciary publishing. He maintained a list, list of fiduciary publishing called, is known as the uh, Bell's list. And until 2017, he maintained that list. He updated the list, but after that, he did not maintain because the publication is rapidly increasing. So cannot, he cannot point to the uh, uh, a list of the uh, publishing. So that's a problem. Uh, and the, it, is say, it is seen that a predatory uh, public uh, list, a uh, Bell's list of predatory publishers and journals, it, it is seen. The number of predatory publishers and journals is increasing very rapidly. That I told you. And uh, merely it was 18 in 2011, and it became 700 in 2015. So you can calculate, I, I cannot calculate the, how much sir, is the past. Sir, sorry to interrupt you. Actually, slides are not changing sir, for online participants. We are at the only first slides which you showed, sir. A same, same problem I faced yesterday. Yes, sir. the same uh, first slide which we have started with that only we are. Okay, okay. I am trying to uh, okay. sort of. Yeah. Now, yes, sir. probably now we are uh, in that oh. in the slide okay. which you are discussing. Okay, thank you. So this is the fact that uh, very rapidly the predatory publishing is increasing in our society, academic society, and uh, that statistics we can calculate the statistics that only within four years, eighteen to seven hundred, this seven hundred number of predatory publishing. So this is the fact. Now I am giving another statistics you see, but I could not find the latest statistics uh, I tried. So it is in 2014. So that time, literary journal was 11,873 from the 996 publishers in 2014. A number of articles from the 11,873 plus military journals, they published 420,000 articles in 2014. So how much today I cannot find anywhere. If you find them, help me. Uh, after 10 years or 9 years, what will be the figure? That is, uh, let me know. Uh, and it is also seen that we are developing country. We, we are always, uh, we are not getting any position in the world, but in this case, we are getting position. 60% uh, from Asia, that is uh, India also the country of Asia continent, you know. So 60 from Asia and whereas 18% from Western countries and 16% from Africa. And most of the discipline from where the, this type of publication is coming out, that is uh, engineering, biomedicine, and social science. So social science, 
you know is a subject where covers more and disciplines or uh, lots of disciplines and also uh, the, from these disciplines the maximum number of PD, uh, PDD publishing is publishing from this discipline. Now you see, yesterday I talk about the uh, gold open access journal, how we can publish in a gold access wood open journal. So now you see, so what, well, what is the standard procedure to publish in a good journal? With the peer reviewed journal. What is the procedure? First, we have to we have to submit the article manuscript in a good journal, reputed journal. Then they select a uh, primary selection done by the editorial board first, one or two members on behalf of the editorial boards. That is that they see the uh, first things as per the rules, as per the guidance, as per the instruction to author given by the journal, the, you have to follow this. That is the font size, margin, uh, no, space, line space, this, are, this, 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 not technical part. So these are the, after selection, then if that kind some papers are being rejected and after selection, the first criteria is the, uh, after uh, selection, the, uh, they send the paper to the peer, for the peer review uh, purpose to the expert of the subject and they see the paper and make the comments and what were to be corrected. So that is made clearly and after that, this, these things that is peer reviewed, that is uh, a peer reviewed person, that is expert, maintain the quality of the this this section, this step, ensure the quality of the journal. After that, the, they receive the processing charts, then publication, and sometimes we see some papers, some publishers, some uh, journal receive additional charges, same as. Uh, key charges, storage charges that for their con uh, conservation, for their uh, hostings, for their uh, storing purpose. That is the different things. Not all journal receive this, but some, some journal uh, receive this additional charges. So this is the procedure is maintained by the uh, good journal, very good journal. But what about the predatory journal? You see. After receiving, they omit the one step that is selection and correct process. They do not follow the peer review process. They do not send the journal to the expert. So, so this journal do not assure the quality as per the uh, that is as compared to the uh, the reputed journal. So after that, they receive the APC charges, then publication, and most of the cases, all, all cases, they do not receive any charges, but as a additional charges, so that is, they have no preservation policy. They do not have any preservation policy. They do not preserve the back volumes. So that's why they are not claiming any charges for the preservation purpose or uh, storage purpose or visibility purpose. So APC charges is the main charges for this purpose, uh, for, for this journal. So this is the uh, procedure maintained by the PDT journal. Now, how we can, the question is how we can identify the which journal is a PDT journal? What type of sign and symbols are there? It is important. How we can, we, I am the, uh, uh, author, I don't know. So how we can identify, how you can judge it is, whether it is a predatory journal or not. First one that several times we told you that uh, predatory journal do not index in a reputed 
uh, databases like Web of Science, Copas, uh, Google Scholar, Abstract, that is biological abstract, uh, chemical abstracts like this. So you will not find any military article of the military journal in this reputed global reputed databases. This is the first condition. Yesterday, anyone asked me, uh, some journal give me the grantee, but I do not find the article there. First is, this type of databases index the bibliographical information of the journal, not the full text, up to the uh, up to the abstract, you will find the abstract and also the relevant bibliography and matrix. Matrix means uh, citation, uh, um, uh, that is impact factors, this type of matrix you will find there. But if you want to access the full text, that depends on the, that condition of the public, where you have published, whether you published in an open access journal, then we will get the full text. Not only you, all will get the full text. And if you select the uh, subscription in journal, then you, nobody will get the full, uh, full text. You will access the full text against the fee. But any journal give you the assurance on their homepage, on their uh, uh, instruction, that this article will be indexed in a this, 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 uh, 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 this is databases, bibliographical databases. Then, if the journal became the authentic, reputed journal, then you will find the article in there. So, all the article, all the reputed article of reputed journals will be indexed in a global uh, reputed database. Whereas pediatric journal will not be indexed in that database. Secondly, any information regarding the editorial board, you will not find on their website. Very interesting. They have the website. Other things we will find, but who will, who is the editor? You will not find any information on them. No contact number, no name, no address, no affiliation, anything. So this is the another symbol, another sign. You can understand easily the, which one is the pediatric journal. Academic, as, as it's very simple. As they, this, this is doing, they're doing this for the purpose of art. So they collect the academic, non-academic advertisement from the different sources. So you will find the non-academic advertisement on their website. So this is the another thing. And also website of the journal does not contain the information on that editorial address and contact details of the that I told you, they will not find any information regarding the uh, editorial board. No transparent description of the publishing process. Yes. I see, you see, just previous, there, there, there is no standard procedure. They do not follow the standard publishing procedure. So there is no transparency in, uh, in the case of, uh, uh, in the case of publishing process. And also they claim the big impact factor. They claim that impact factor is 10, 12, 13, 14, whatever maybe they can make a claim. But really, you will not find who are, who are responsible for the, the reputed, uh, reputed documents, reputed databases, who are responsible the, for this type of matrix, you will not find there. Their article will not be there. So they create their own uh, impact factor and declared on the website against their publication. And the editor, if you find 
in React case, hardly if you find any editorial uh, name of the editorial members or board or chief in editorial on their website, but you will not find the name in the scientific expert uh, databases that is a uh, COP. That uh, COP is the uh, forum or database of the editor or publisher that is reputed journal or reputed journal. So you will not find there. You may written there X, Y, Z, anybody they can mention there, but they have no authenticity. Now, very consciously, and they use the name of the journal very close to the reputed journal or genuine journal. So very consciously they use this. You know, nature journal, Nature is a reputed journal in science domain. You see, you know, science is the journal in a science domain. Yesterday I seen that science journal, only term is science. There is no journal. In the original journal is there, only science. And a journal I find, science journal, so this, this type of misleading, misguided term they are using and the, their name, journal name is very close to the legitimated journal, genuine journal. And also you find most of uh, some cases, you know, they have no website, they correspondence to the, through the mail. And if you find the website, their website generally not designed by the professionally, you will find the uh, grammatical mistakes also, you find the smelling mistakes there. So this type of error you find there. And they claim the their journal is long established journal. So uh, very simple, they, they give the false information against their journal. So this is the uh, another point, they claim their journal is long established journal. And they publish very frequently within a month after, after the receiving the uh, manuscript. And another good point is they cover, they try to cover the all subjects. A to Z, you will find all subjects there. It's not possible in a specialist journal. Arts to science, humanities to uh, 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 literature, all subjects will be found in a journal. Is it possible? Science journal deals with the science domain. Arts journal, science uh, publish the arts publication. So they cover the a uh, lot wide range of subjects. And also consciously they use the logos image from the website of the established journal. So it is the another uh, thing that they use the logos and uh, image of the uh, one legitimated journal or established journal or reputed journal. And manuscripts are requested to be submitted by a mail that I told you. They request the subject generally use the mail. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, not sometimes. Now, every journal, they have the system of submission online system. But they do not maintain the online system in case of submission. Uh, they, they request to submit the journal through a uh, paper through mail. And just charges, APC charges, they uh, collect APC charges. Do not follow the standard uh, quality of the publishing procedure and charges is very low. And another thing, they do not have any uh, preservation policy. That I told you, they, they do not preserve the, any journal, back volumes of the journal. Digital preservation is not there. So this is the symbol that help us to find a predatory journal to identify a predatory journal. So we have to care about this, uh, which one is predatory and which one not. First, we have to know, then we, we are 
select the journal. So to select a journal, particular suitable journal for our article, for our manuscript, first we have to uh, we have to identify the predatory journal where we are going to publish, whether it is predatory or not, that is important. Now, don't mind otherwise. Who publish in predatory journal? First one, there are three types of scholars among us. The researcher who are very ignorant, they don't know the differentiated between the uh, legitimated journal and the predatory journal. Unknowingly, at the beginning of the career, his her career, she or he choose the predatory journal to publish his article. But uh, so many scholars we have, they are not experienced, they are very much inexperienced, then several times from several reputed journals reject their manuscript. What he will do? He needs the some publications to get its job to appear a uh, college service commission. So, so intentionally knowing the fact, he would like to select the predatory, public, uh, predatory journal to publish his article, his manuscript. And other publishers, uh, other researcher, he is very much aware about the uh, predatory journal, but still, even after the having job, he still wants to increase that published uh, number of publication. I have 50 number of published publication. I have 70 number of publication you see in a CV. But how many of publication from the reputed journal? That is a big question. You will not find anyone. So it is one, if you do the seriously publish or, or article published in a reputed journal, in a quality journal, then you cannot publish one or two maximum in a year. So if you have the more than 100 publications, how many years uh, you need? You just calculate. So this is the facts. Now you see, publication ethics. So this coursework is on the publication ethics. So all the teachers are giving the lectures on this publication ethics. So you know. And uh, COPE, that is I told you, COPE, Committee on Publication Ethics is a forum platform of the reputed publisher and reputed editors. So it is a good forum for the for us, and they give some guidelines for authors, for editors, and publishers also. So we should go for. We should look at the uh, have a look. We should have a look at this uh, guidelines as we are authors. So guidelines for author we should uh, go through, and it is available on this web on this website. The their website the publication author www.publicationethics.org. Now, you see SPPU, you know, SPPU, Sabitri by Pune Pune University, SPPU. In short, uh, SPPU, Sabitri by Pune University. So you, you know that UGC care list. So what? What is the UCC care list? You know? What have the UCC care list? Why is UCC care list? Anyone? Sir, uh, journals uh, that are selected by 
that we can do that are not predatory for uh, yes, very good. The list of quality journal that prepared and maintained by the UGC, that is the UGC care list. So basically UGC set up a unit at the name as cell for journal analysis at Shabitri by Pune Pune University, in short SSP, to maintain, to create and maintain the UGC care list of journal. And uh, their recommendations and their criteria, you have, uh, that is included in your syllabus, SSP, SPPU. So uh, you should know this. So, a committee of this university was formed in 2015 under the chairmanship of Professor Bhushan Patwadhan to on this issue that is predatory journal issue to make the recommendations to make the uh, action what action may be taken or on this issue to see the uh, to see this uh, issue this type of com uh, this committee has been uh, constituted by the uh, university so first recommendation was the journal those journal regularly published at least five at least for consecutive five years do not grant publication in short time at cost consideration published true and Correct information on the website have reputed academician on editorial board and other members of reputed bodies like COP can be considered as good journals and research publication in such journal can be considered for academic purpose. So according to the committee, according to the recommendation of the committee, so what will be the considered as a good journal for the academic purpose? The journal should be published for consecutive four years, five years, regularly publishing they want. And there will be clear-cut information about the editorial board. And also the member of the editorial board will be the member of COP. Their name will be in the database of COP. This is the first point recommended by the SPPU. Secondly, according to the UGC guideline 2010, our university developed comprehensive faculty-wise list of quality journals and reputed publishers in each subject. That is, they recommended that the faculty-wise list of the quality journal and publisher should be prepared on the on each and every subject and indexed in reputed agencies that I told you and you know web of science copas scholars PubMed uh, sci finders chemical abstract biological abstract are to be considered as a reputed journal so index in these databases also be considered as a reputed journals. So this is the recommendations. And some agencies, reputed agencies also calculate the matrix. Matrix means citation index, impact factor, ACE, ACE index, uh, journal rank. So this type of, this is the matrix. So reputed agencies means Thomson Router is one of the reputed agency to calculate this type of matrix and Copas also. Saimaigo is another reputed agency. So those journals are included in this agency, the matrix in this agency. So we also consider the reputed journal or reliable indicator about this journal. And 
as you know the bells list gives the primary guidance and information regarding the printed in journal so we have to consider that journal whether if any journal find in the predatory uh, uh, predatory list that is bell list so will, that journal will be cons will not be considered by a reputed journal or and we will not consider for the academic purpose it is also the uh, recommendation of that committee and they also give some responsibility on the library people that is library should make a list of predatory journal or publishers consulting the various sources authentic sources reliable sources like bells list and others available sources so library has to prepare a predatory list of predatory publishing and another point is we have to or they recommended that the awareness program should be conducted on uh, publication ethics so and lastly that we are doing and you have to go through this process uh, our manuscript should be scanned through the reputed anti plagiarism software so this is the recommendation made by the committee of sppu so and sppu is the one body that is one university who is taken the sole responsibility for making the uh, ucc care list so you will find the ucc care list in sppu uh, copyright sppu you will find there so now today i think as i uh, hear from team that today uh, ucc care ucc care list already done by yes, so i am not saying this you know this. so one thing there are two groups originally it was four groups now it is two groups and group one is the ucc care list the journal under the under this group the those journals qualify the ucc care list protocols of the ucc care list and the parameters of the ucc care list that that journal will come under the group 1 list and secondly group 2 list that is journal those are indexed in the globally recognized databases so there are two groups now it is discussed how we can include submit a new journal in a uh, use care list <laughs> so very simple <coughs> steps we have to follow that is as an individual one individual can also recommend a journal i you whatever may be can recommend a journal or any publisher so either individual or publisher has to make the recommendation for the inclusion of a journal to the ipuc that is internal quality assurance committee every university or colleges has this form, committee you know ipuc uh, we have also ipuc so we have to submit the details of the journal that i we want to include in the uc care list we have to submit the details about the journal to the ipuc of the concern of uh, university or colleges then you know ipuc of college or university send the recommendation to the ipuc cell of ucc care university that is they have the another ipuc cell and after that the ipuc cell will send the ucc uh, ucc cell for journal analysis that is at SPPU cell for journal analysis that unit is SPPU uh, so they will send the journal to them and after checking after checking the parameters they will send to the uh, UCC care list for approval the 
empowered committee. There is an empowered committee in a UCC care list. So they will decide whether it will be, finally they will take the decision whether it will be inclusion or not. So after that, if approved then, then it will be included in UCC care list. This is the procedure, simple procedure. We have to just submit to the IQC of the concerned um, uh, institution. So this is the pediatric journal. Now, journal finder. How we, how we can find a suitable journal for our publication. So this is a important or useful tools that help us to select or find a suitable journal for our manuscript that we would like to publish in a journal. And basically it's a search engine. It matches our journal, our article to a journal. That is our article message to our journal. So which one the best fit, best match, they will give a list on the basis of the ranking. So this is the journal finder. And there are so many software you, we have to find a, a, a suitable journal. Now, what we have to see, what we have to consider, first one, we have to focus on the theme of the journal. That is the subject area of the journal. What subject is covered by the journal? That is the important first. I am a geography student or I am a life science, uh, life science student. So, if I select a journal, there is no subject of geography of life science. So can we select this journal for publication of my paper? No. So first is we have to select the journal. That is, we have to focus on the uh, uh, subject area of the journal. Then audience. What will be the target audience of the journal? That is to be considered. And here it is best to select the a uh, specialist journal on the subject and type of the article you know we have to have a research article or a review or a case study so this type of study this type of original research article or case study case study or the uh, review we have to need to publish up in a reputed journal Impact factor, it is not mandatory for publishing a journal, but it is a, a important parameter to judge, to measure, a, uh, to measure a journal. If we see the impact factor is high, then we can consider that journal is good. It is a good journal. And also the another important thing is publication timeline. Basically, we send a paper to a journal. They are not giving any response. They are they are respond, not responding. So how many days we will wait for this? And even we are not send that this article, this manuscript to the other journal. Unless and until he will not deny or accept this. So what we'll do? So that is important. We have to consider the timeline. So when they will give the, how many times they will take for first review. Sometimes they uh, mention this uh, timeline. So how many times averagely they take for first review? And after that, how many times they will take? Total uh, turn around for publication. This is the another important thing. We have to consider this. Now, to select a journal, First, we have to see the aim and scope of the journal to check whether the article, whether my manuscript is matched with the, with the journal. So that is the important. And instruction to author, we have to follow and check again and again to avoid the rejection that whatever they want, as per guidance, I have written my paper following their guidance. That is, we have to ensure about that. And also, we have to check 
we have to read the article already published in that paper so we can understand the scope of the research paper and also the other criteria if we have any doubt and another things we have to check that is author compliance tools to meet the instruction of funders requirement so if you have any requirement from the funder side so we have to we have to check it uh, author uh, compliance tools now you see some importance so there are two things two step we will follow what is uh, we can search the database or reputed database from there we can select a particular journal for my manuscript this is the one step one process and another process i have a manuscript i want to match to the other journal to the journal particular journal so this is the another process so you see uh, i am going to online demonstration first very quickly i am giving some information uh, time is over uh use is care list already over bell list you see Okay, oh. yes, yes, yes. You can minimize it and do whatever you want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to uh, this uh, online demonstration. So yes, I... you can do it. We will. Okay, we'll okay, be... okay, okay, okay. Mm, now, Bell's list. B e a l double l apostrophe s l i s t Bell's list. So, this is the Bell list website. This is the original uh, list of publishers, and uh, this is the original list of journal. So, you there are so many journals you will find in this list, and you will find out publishers also predatory publishers so this is the you can check this platform before publication you uh, before selection of a journal to publish your uh, uh, article and hijacked journal so you see this this is the hijacked or predatory journal and this is the audit, uh, authentic journal so you will find the very the name is very close to the authentic journal nra research notes nra research notes here you see nra is small here in case of authentic journal it is capital so it's a very simple difference next is misleading matrix so these are the some companies agencies that are making misleading matrix not that they are not the reputed agencies for making the matrix so you will be care careful about this next i want to see another thing web of science master journalist have you seen it is already discussed okay so this is the database from where we can find a good journal or reputed journal so this is the technique you can select the journal i am showing you the what is the technique we have to follow so this is the web of science master journal list so 
From this plat platform, we can browse, search, and explore the journal index in the web of science. And it is a very uh, authentic journal platform we can search. So here you see journal, search journal title, ISSN number, or uh, uh, title keywords. We can, if you don't know anything, then click on search journal. We'll find that all journals, that is total number of journal, we will find 24,750. Now we can filter the search. So there are, you see, four collection, science citation index, social science citation in index, arts and humanities index, and emerging uh, sources citation. So these are the four core collections are there. If you are the student of a uh, science citation, that is science background, then you will click on this. Then you will find the only science science related journal. They will find the 9,000, is, result is 9,500 plus. So this is the science related journal. And if you want to filter again, then you can click here. I want only the uh, open access journal, then you click this. So you will find only the open access journal. The list is on the open access journal. Now, now the number of journal becomes 1,901. And if you filter again by the subject, that in science, I am the student of physics. Applied physics. So what will be the result? You see 54. Language, we can select the language, English. Now result is 54, okay, all are English language. Now frequency, there are so many frequencies are listed here. If you want to publish a journal, which frequency annually or bi-monthly or fortnight or quarterly, monthly, whatever maybe. If you want first annually, then what, what type of journal? Only one journal is there. Quarterly. So that depends on you. Quarterly, 11 journal. Then if you want to a journal that is published quarter basis, then that is four in a year. Then four, 11 journals are there. We can select anyone from this list. And to view the details of the journal, okay, you have to uh, you have to log in here. So Web of Science basically a platform that is a subscription based platform. It's not free. And uh, university that is a uh, implement is providing that to the university all university as a free. So all the university if you have the university then you can access it freely. But if you want to access from your home or the any cafe uh, house, then it's not possible to access it free. Okay. So as you are the university, uh, because you have to use the network of university, then they can understand you are in university. Otherwise, not. Uh, okay, I am using so. Uh, My goodness. Yeah. 
Okay. Now see. So to see the details of the particular jardin, then we have to log in on the platform. Otherwise, we cannot see. And uh, so here you see the uh, publisher's website is mentioned here and the number of published, first published year also mentioned here, that is 1993, this particular uh, journal. Uh, frequency is quarterly and uh, issue per year four. So this is the information. Another information we can find from here, that is uh, we can, uh, if we click on this option, the find similar journal, then we can find the similar journal uh, from here. We can access the similar journal. So in this way, we can select a particular journal situation journal for our manuscript. Now, uh, next teacher is already here. So I have to do uh, weekly. We have to complete now. As Copas schema, you see another platform we can use to select a particular uh, good journal. So you see, uh, Simago journal it is a basically uh, use the database of Copas and uh, we can search the particular journal by here, uh, given uh, putting here, and also we can uh, browse by rank. You see, this is the all journal, total journal is 27,339. Uh, and uh, we can again uh, filter the journal. So all subject area is given here. We can select the subject area according to by uh, subject. And also we can again uh, filter by the subject, uh, particular subject area. And reason is not important here. Types journal. We are uh, we are going to look for journal. So journal will select a journal, and also we can uh, select the year. Year basis journal we can select. And you see, one thing is given important things. I have to uh, we have to know that is a uh, Q1, Q2, Q3. That is the rank of the journal. So first first twenty percent of the rank. That is higher rank from the higher rank. Twenty percent of the journal is. Uh, ranked by Q1, then second uh, second 20% journal is indicated by Q2, third 20% journal indicated by Q4, Q3, and last one is Q4. So we should always look for the Q1, Q2, and this this two category have a, a good number, uh, qualitative journal. So uh, list the qualitative journal. So we have to go for only Q1 and Q2 journal. Now, another thing, Google Scholar, you know, just I am showing one thing, how we can uh, find a good journal from a Google Scholar platform using the Google Scholar platform. So, you see, here you find three dash, matrix, the, this is the top publication, list of top publication of Google Scholar and view all. Then we can again here uh, filter the search according to my subject, suppose life science and art science, and again you find the subcategory. So there are so many subject areas there, particularly you can uh, filter the search according to your needs. So, uh, geology. So this is the top 20 publications are listed here and uh, according to the rank H5 uh, index rank. So we can find a suitable journal uh, using this platform also for our manuscript. So next is web of science manuscript matching. Now you see till now I am talking about the database how we can select the suitable journal best journal by searching the database now i am talking about the matching that is i have a article so i want to match the other journals so where do we want to publish so this is the another technique 
So here you see wave of science manuscript match. Wave of science manuscript match. You will find the manus match manuscript. One option is there, match manuscript. Put the title and abstract you have to put to different places. Then we will find the uh, selected journal that are available in the Web of Science database. And they will give the journal, they will suggest a list of journals according to a link, which one the best fit for my manuscript. That's, that's according to the, their link, they will give the journal and from the suggested, the suggested list, I have to select one for my publication. So you see, uh, I have, I am showing one case only. So, I have an article it already published in a journal. So suppose you see, uh, title is this, and we have the abstracts also. Now find the journal option, click on this. You see, this is the different, uh, so many journals are listed here. And uh, also they are giving the ma matching score here on the left side, you see 99% uh, match with this journal that is Scientrometrics. As my paper on the uh, Bibliometrics related paper, so they give the first matching journal Scientrometrics. This, this journal deals with the bibliometric or scientometrics paper. So this is the 99% matching they are seeing. And all the cases that 34%, 37%, 25% a very poor matching are there. So we can find this journal for my publication. Another thing that we have in the syllabus, that is a Springer Nature Journal Suggested, you know. So very simple, in the same way we can find the uh, journal that is best suitable for my publication. You see, same way. And Springer Journal use the database of Springer, not the other database, they have uh, more than 25, uh, 20, uh, 2,500 journals, and within the 2,500 journals, they give the best result for my article. So same things I am doing here. Copy the article title of the uh, my article, and also manuscript test means abstract. And suggests journal here subject area we may uh, given we may give on may not be give that is not problem so you see they also suggest the first journal cytometrics and with the more information you see impact factor is also given mentioned here 3.8 of journal of uh, cytometrics journal 3.801 and first decision that is average they will take they will give the result feedback of first review uh, that is within the 30 days. This is the average days they are taking. And acceptance rate is not here, but all, all other cases you will find the acceptance. That is in this, uh, that is 38% uh, journal they are accepting. So 52% is rejecting in this case for this uh, uh, journal. So this is the another thing. And LCBR find journal finder is the
same thing we have to follow same procedure abstract and it is the database of elsevier so they will give the result on the basis of their database elsevier database find journal journal of informatics another important journal on the scientometrics or informatics so they give this uh, suggested this uh, name journal of informatics and also along with the uh, also there are others so many journals they have suggested so and also site score that is nine is citing a uh, rate that they are an uh, impact factor is also the acceptance days uh, time to first decision for which they will take to know the first uh, first decision four weeks and time to take after first decision they will take two weeks the total six weeks will be required to publish the journal, uh, article in this journal and uh, we can filter our search by open access if we want to open access journal then uh, we can uh, uh, we can filter by accordingly so this is the things regarding the journal finder and uh, one thing is left that is jan i am showing last one jan and it is basically this journal this database deals with the uh, medical science biomedicals life science so it's uh, it is not deal with the other subjects so i do not know which how much they will give the satisfactory result on my search so in this case only either abstract or uh, title we need to insert here so i am putting only title uh, so extra option is given here we can select the language english we can select the type of publication that is a a uh, case study uh, review journal article whatever we have so we can select the option accordingly so now find the journal so is this cytometrics cytometrics okay we find the cytometric journal so so the details of the article we can select the article read the article or we can uh, see the article which type of article is publishing in a uh, scientific journal so this is the things we can find a suitable journal for my manuscript so if you have any question or any doubt you may ask now otherwise you may contact later on through my mail or phone number uh so now next class we'll take dr shabad nosi i i am already over now mara ni so so if you have any question yes please say loudly please. obviously
if you select any uh, any pituitary journal to publish your uh, article then it will be of serious effect on your career this article will not be get any academic score it will not considered in anywhere whatever you uh, be uh, you are applied in a csc or whatever you applied for any uh, job so you will that article will not be considered as academic purpose no GUI number is only the uh, number that is not ensure the authenticity of the journal. It is ensure the uh, availability of the journal. Digital object is a digital object. You can uh, access the journal by this number. It is a reference number, not the not ensure the authenticity or uh, good quality uh, article. You can purchase it if you give some extra money at the time of. Uh, APC charges or other charges they are claiming, then you can purchase the o o o OID number also. Another question. Yeah. If that uh, same, if that very article which has already been published in a predatory journal, after a few period of time, we can prove that it's in a predatory journal. Can we bring out that article again and again publish it in the uh, No, no, no. Once it has uh, published in a journal, then you cannot uh, publish in another. Uh, uh, any question from the online students? From your side, have you any questions? We have the right taking down Sorry, I can uh, follow your question. You said that uh, if uh, we have published in the journal yeah. and then we cannot republish it, we cannot uh, like withdraw it. Yeah, yeah. Like, can we at least take it down or like uh, we can at least request that to withdraw that article? No, you need not to withdraw. You do not show anything. Uh, the journal took anywhere. You are not, it is not possible to withdraw. From where you can withdraw? You can use it. Yeah. If you want, then you can withdraw. withdraw. After publication, how we can? There is no in your hand. Nothing you have. No, you only one thing. You cannot submit it in a uh, in a uh, academic purpose or anywhere uh, for your career. Okay. Ah, Bangla jara acho tarar jodi Bangla ke question korte chaicho, ba jate chaicho, bolte bolte. Hello, sir. Ah, hello. I'm not a question. I say, Jodi Amarkuno paper by conference. Uh, mother university the uh, admission near for Polish the public side in the sense of PhD registration to Haini to say the key. I'm a final thesis paper at the barbo. They go by Akunja rules and regulations. I say that. Uh, PhD thesis submission is not allowed. Recent there rules and regulations are there. Like, no. Now, PhD thesis submission is not allowed. Now, just recently, I got a PhD thesis submission. Now, recently, I got a PhD thesis submission. Now, recently, I got a PhD thesis submission. Uh, earlier, at least one publication uh, was required to submit the uh, paper uh, at the time of submission of your uh, uh, thesis. So, right now it is not required. But you have to know. So, to me, what for a genuine submission, you have to know what you have to do. Any question from any side? Okay, thank you.